Fellow organists, I hope you took some time to share our doghouse and people house story with others and that you still remember the names of our white keys. But before we get to learn our new rhythm, let's first look at posture. Posture is all about the way we sit or stand. So when sitting at a keyboard, we need to ensure that our belly button is in line with the middle C. Now don't worry about that word middle C because we will first learn more about the D in this lesson. So we must firstly sit tall. That is important. Our feet in front of us spaced shoulder width. Our elbows should be slightly in front of our body and also spaced, not against the body. So we use our fist under our armpit to get that distance right. Now for our hands. Imagine you are holding a tennis ball in your hand. Note the position of my fingers. The fingertips and the palms, they are facing down. Now place your hands gently on top of the white keys and move them across the keyboard like this. Ensure that you still sit tall and that your elbows are spaced. Great job! It is important that you feel relaxed and not tense. And that concludes our posture. I know you can't wait to start playing, but before we do that, let me introduce you to two symbols called notes. Now, notes in music simply means sound. Let's look at the first sound. It looks like a solid letter D but we call it a tar. And we can clap it like this. Two fingers on our flat palm. Tar. Let's clap four tars together. Here we go. Tar, 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 tar. Great job! The tar is also called a walking note. I think it's time for us to take our doggy for a walk. Shall we do that? Let's get our hand position on the note D. See Peter Pointer in front of our dog eyes there? There we go. And our other fingers each on a white key. So all we need to do now is to just press the key down very gently and say ta, 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 ta. Ready with me. Here we go. And ta, 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 ta. Now let's do it one more time. And this time we're going to say walk instead of ta. Let's go. And walk, 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 walk. Great job. I'm sure your doggy enjoyed his walk. Now, Sometimes we feel like running too, don't we? So, we also get running notes and they are called tates. It looks like two tars joined with a beam above it. When we see this, we will clap twice and say tate. Do that with me. Here we go. And tate. Now let's clap four tates together. Ready? Tate, 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 tate. Awesome! I think the time has come for us to take our doggy for a run. So let's get our hand into position. And Peter Pointer will do the running like this. Tate, 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 tate. Right. Do it with me. 
Ready? And. Tate, 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 tate. Well done. Hope you enjoyed the lovely exercises. And don't forget to take your doggy for his daily walking and running exercises on our Tars and Tates. Keep fit. Until next time. Thank you.